We are Morningside Lane. We are on Facebook. We are on Instagram. We are just type us on, just type us in the Google. You recently released your music video for your song, Home Crowd, which calls back to seemingly easier times and feeling nostalgic about home. For a song that focuses a lot on space and time, what did the inspiration and recording process look like for the video? What has this song meant for the band, particularly in a time where we've all been kept apart from the people and the places we love? So we recently just recorded and released Home Crowd uh, on March 12th. That was the first song that I wrote during the, uh, the shutdown. I want to call it like a love letter to you know, friends, family, um, anybody that's pretty much important to you during a time where you need to spend time apart. When I wrote it, I felt very comforted by it and very hopeful. It gave me a little bit of hope and then I just kind of kept writing throughout the entire year. Being apart from all those people, it, it takes a toll on you. You know, after a while I started getting cabin fever and I you know, the first time I was amongst people again, it was it was a trip. We didn't see each other, I think, for two months. And then we just started rehearsing again, being apart from the things that, you know, make you who you are. Really, um, it makes you appreciate it just a little bit more, so. In an earlier interview with Bill Bodkin, you list some of your band's influences, including Bruce Springsteen, Elvis, Bob Dylan, and James Brown. How have you since developed your own style in the Asbury Park music scene? Were there any new influences that have come into your music since then? Where we're headed now, we just got a new you know, keyboard player. We're gonna start incorporating a lot of synthesizers, some heavy synth, nothing like, you know, not like dubstep or anything like that. Don't worry, it's still gonna be, you know, we're still gonna bring the rock. And um, and a little bit of a uh, and a little bit of dance, not too dancey though. You know, I don't want to go full uh, full throttle disco. But uh, through this uh, pandemic, I discovered a ton of uh, new music. It started with Bleachers. I've been a fan of Bleachers for for years, and then it just kind of then all of a sudden I discovered the 1975, and I'm like, wow, I'm late to the party. Atlas Genius, that's a great band that I really got into. This is just a group of uh, new influences that we're going to start to, you know, incorporate into our next project that we're starting soon. We're going to keep everybody updated on that. What is the biggest goal for your band in the near future? Are you currently working on any new projects? Where I see this band in two years is, you know, two albums and two albums in our pocket, you know, full lengths amongst you know, the audience that we want to capture. That's a no-brainer right there. I could see us playing shows again, you know, full throttle in the next two, three years. Um, it's gonna take a little time for that, but right now we're chilling with the live streams and then we're gonna be a little bit more uh, pick and choose as we go with the shows until, you know, once the shows get back to what they were. And continuing to be inspired and ambitious and breaking new ground. So uh, I feel like we've, we're starting to do that with our new material and I'm excited for everyone to hear it. Thank you.